news concerning the Giza pyramids. Scientists discover the Great Pyramid of Giza can focus electromagnetic energy through its chambers. The new analysis shows that these pyramids can concentrate electromagnetic energy. This includes two chambers inside and a third, which is unfinished, which is found to be underneath the base. Scientists say the breakthrough could lead to more efficient nanoparticle designs. This is on Daily Mail by Cheyenne McDonald. And uh, it's a remarkable find. Of course, this is not new. We've read something about this concerning the electromagnetic properties of the pyramid about uh, two or three years ago because they had x-rayed the pyramids of Giza and found that there was a temperature difference as you go towards the apex of the pyramids that the, each stone had a different temperature the makeup of the, the the construction of the pyramid was such that it was creating energy and that the energy was hotter the stones were hotter on the top of the pyramid for some unexplained reason. So this is a remarkable discovery. It has to do with electromagnetic energy. The electromagnetic properties of the Great Pyramid of Giza could soon change the way people believe structures can work. They can inspire nanoparticle designs for highly efficient sensors and even solar cells. Scientists have discovered that the famous Giza pyramid concentrates electric and magnetic energy towards the internal chambers and also below the base. It creates pockets of higher energy. They find that if this concentrating effort and the effect is able to be recreated on a nanoscale, this would lead to a wave of new and more efficient sensors and solar cells. Now, while this Giza pyramid is 481 feet high, built thousands of years ago, supposedly for Pharaoh Khufu, it's been a mystery for its purported mythical qualities. Uh, it's a very mystical thing and the, the scientists want to research to find out what the physical properties of the pyramids are. Quote, Egyptian pyramids have always attracted great attention, end quote, said Dr. Andre Evlikin, who is a scientific supervisor of the research. He says, we as scientists were interested in them all as well, so we decided to look at the Great Pyramids as a particle dissipating radio waves resonantly, end quote. So it also gives out radio waves. Very fascinating. The international research team researched the relationship between the shape of the Great Pyramid of Giza and its ability to focus electromagnetic energy. Now, in order to do this, the St. Petersburg of Russia team created a model of the pyramid, which is, of course, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. They had to accurately measure the electromagnetic response. They used the model to see wavelengths, energy, and how it's scattered or absorbed by the pyramid. They tested interactions with waves of resonant length ranging from 200 to 600 meters. That's 656 feet to about 2,000 feet. Now, this is getting very uh, scientific, of course, but um, if you look at the uh, chart, the multipole analysis showing the pyramid concentrates electromagnetic energy in its hidden chambers, the distribution of electric and magnetic field magnitude in the pyramid and its supporting 
substrate is shown. In other words, there's no, it's not just above ground that the energy is located. It's also below ground, about three times further down. Uh, if it's 300 meters above ground, you have the energy resonating there. You also have 300 meters below. That's fascinating. Now they say, while these assumptions are made, they say we obtain interesting results that can find important practical applications. They used multipole analysis. This is a method they say that's widely used in physics to study interaction between complex objects and electromagnetic fields in order to show how a pyramid concentrates electromagnetic energy into its underground chambers. So it's not just the temperature that in the past few years was shown that each stone was able to somehow work on its own and together with the whole shape of the pyramid. It's also what's going on underneath. So it includes, it says, two chambers uh, believed to have contained the remains of Pharaoh Khufu along with his wife. And also there is a third unfinished chamber underneath the base. The ancient Egyptians that built the pyramids, this was about 4,400 years ago, that's like 2,500 BC, were not aware of this quirk of the design. How is it that they were not aware of this quirk of the design? Is it because they didn't build them? Were they built beforehand? Before them? Now researchers now believe the relationship between the design of the pyramid and the ability to focus wave energy to the core of the pyramid underneath plays a very important part for nanoparticle research in the future. When they consider the pyramid on a substrate such as the limestone plateau, which is built on, the researchers say it focuses energy through the empty spaces to the substrate. Quote, in the case of the pyramid on the substrate, at the shorter wavelengths, the electromagnetic energy accumulates in the chambers, providing local spectral maxima for electric and magnetic fields. It is shown that basically the pyramid scatters the electromagnetic waves and focuses them into the substrate uh, area, into that uh, underground region. Now, as we said before, concerning the temperature of the uh, stones uh, of the Giza Pyramid, the researchers confirmed that they found that using cosmic particles, known as muons, to scan the Great Pyramid of Giza, they used the scans to create maps to reveal the internal structure of the 439 foot large pyramid, the Giza pyramid. The thermal scanning identified a very major anomaly in the great Giza pyramid, the largest and oldest of the Giza pyramids, and of course, as we said, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Those scans showed that there were three adjacent stones at the base which registered high temperatures, higher temperatures than others. And the scans identified other three nearby stones at a space registering higher temperature than others. So this led to a theory that they may be hiding a secret chamber that had yet to be discovered. So the team of experts set up the Scan Pyramid Project. They used the muons and the tiny subatomic particles typically produced by cosmic rays smashing into the atoms on Earth. And that's how they were able to see through the pyramids huge stone blocks, some of which weigh uh, 15 tons each. Dr. Hawass, Zahi Hawass, as we know him, the Egyptian uh, antiquities head, has in the past been skeptical of the usefulness of, the, of conducting such scans, but here they are, they were able to see through the pyramid he recently clashed with British Egyptologists over their theory that a secret burial chamber 
where is hidden behind the walls of Tutankhamun's tomb and his pyramid in the Valley of the Kings. Okay, well, okay. Uh, that's his prerogative. Now, although the research seems unconventional, modern physical properties have been previously used to study the Great Pyramid to lead to a discovery of a completely new structure. This is what was stated by Antojia Gubisiko, Gubisik Cabo, the physicist from the Monash University, who was not involved in this research. Quote, as this research is completely theoretical, it's difficult to say what we can expect it will lead to, or if it's even possible to do this in real life, end quote. Now, the researchers in this study are very sure that the manner in which the electromagnetic energy distributes in the pyramid could help scientists do something with this new find to create nanoparticles designed for the future. It depends on whether the researchers are able to recreate the effect observed in the Great Pyramid of Giza on a nanoscale. Dr. Polina Kapitainova of the Faculty of Physics and Technology of Itmo University said, uh, I, I assume it's the Russian university, she says, choosing a material with suitable electromagnetic properties, we can obtain pyramidal nanoparticles with a promise for practical application in nanosensors and effective solar cells, she said. Okay, this to me is a little bit complicated. Uh, I'm not a physicist, but I always love antiquities. I love ancient history and archaeology, especially Egyptology, which is so fascinating, still mysterious. Um, obviously, the fact that they used this uh, these muons uh, with the scan of the Great Giza Pyramid to find hidden chambers and a third unfinished chamber underneath is something fantastic. And I guess they can do this using muons at least, never mind solar cells or nanoparticles. I'm sure they can use this type of technology uh, to see what's under the earth in various locations that they're digging for something. For example, archaeologists or uh, even um, geologists, okay, for um, my zinc mines or diamond mines or gold mines or something, uh, for natural resources, even for water. Fantastic technology, though. The Moans and uh, so... I hope you like this. This is on uh, Daily Mail, and uh, it's fascinating.